The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. What does it say next? He makes me to lie down. In green pastures. So not just sit down. But lie down. Oh, such a restful place. Last night I went up back to my hotel. I was tired. I had a bath. And then I lay down. <laughs> and I stayed there till morning. So, 5,000 men, plus women and children. Jesus said, Have the people sit down. The Bible says it was a grassy. Nice. There was a boy. He had five loaves and two fish that his mum had made for him. Andrew, the disciple, looked at the five loaves and two fish and he said, What are they? For so many, he saw lack. I am coming to Cambodia. I look at my bank account. Oh, I see lack. You want to come? to the seminar, to the conference. You don't know how you can come. You see that. I don't have the money. I know. The small boy. He puts the five loaves and two fish in the hands of Jesus. <coughs> it is amazing. <coughs> what does Jesus do? He gives thanks. You see my shirt? What does it say then? <laughs> my brother does not have a shirt. <laughs> it says thankfulness. <laughs> I said yesterday I am going to I am going to give you a key. It's not me that's giving you this key. Jesus wants to give you a key. It is the key to new life. It is the foundation stone. We have laid the cornerstone. We're laying the foundation. This is the cornerstone. Who is the cornerstone? Jesus. 
Can I ask a question? Is there anybody here who doesn't believe in Jesus? Does everyone believe? Who believes? Hallelujah! We have laid the cornerstone. I have been to Cambodia many times. I have preached in many places. Many people have received Jesus. Can I ask a question? Is there anybody in this room who became a Christian when I preached? It doesn't matter really. One. Hallelujah. It does not really matter. Because my job is to impart to you the gospel. There was one time when I wanted to preach in every village in Cambodia. Is that possible? No. But I can impart to you the gospel. And you can preach it. When the Lord says to me, you will preach grace to the world. You will touch the nations. He's not just talking about me. He's talking about you. Because you are my family. Together, we will touch the nations. <laughs> what did Jesus do? He gave thanks. He took the five loaves and two fish in his hands. And he looked to heaven. I don't know exactly what he said. The Bible doesn't tell us. But it he tells us that he gave thanks. And he tells us that the people had as much as they wanted. Let me ask a question. What did Jesus give thanks for? Let me tell you what I think. Do you know, as I <coughs> as I think about these things that I need, and at this moment, there are a lot of things I need. There is a lot of things bearing in on me and my family. While I am here. I am not there. Not working. Okay. 
My family are at home. So I understand. It would be very easy for me to be anxious. And to worry. But will it help? No. Jesus said. If you worry. Will it add any. Will it add one hour to your life? No. What did Jesus give thanks for? I believe that he gave thanks for what he had. What did he have? He had a father who hurt him. Do you remember when Jesus went to the grave of Lazarus? Lazarus had died. And he had been in the grave four days. He was dead. He wasn't half dead. He was so dead that he smelled. <laughs> <laughs> there was no doubt that he was dead and Jesus came to the grave and he said take away the stone and the Bible says he looked to heaven and he said I thank you that you hear me and then he said Lazarus come forth what happened Lazarus came. It's a good thing that Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Because if Jesus had just said, come forth, every grave would have emptied. <laughs> but he said Lazarus You know, I read my Bible. And the Bible is perfect. Every word is important. When you're reading your Bible, read every word. It is perfection. He said, Lazarus come forth. And Lazarus came. And he was bound. That's what it says. And Jesus said, Loose him. And let him go. Do you feel bound? It says that his head was covered. Do you feel blind? Jesus is saying, I'm loose of them. And let them go. Set them free. You want freedom? Freedom from worry? 
สดงที่รู้ปีการฟอร์มไฟ